Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with my Sims 4 house renovation series collaboration with Char Sims or Char XP here on YouTube. Um, so today we did a much smaller area than we have done before. So this video is actually a good bit quicker than the others. I just tried to make it a little bit longer because, you know, I didn't want it to be literally a five minute video, but if I sped it up as much as I did before, it totally would be. <laughs> but um, we did pretty a pretty small, simple area. We're literally just doing this um, downstairs kind of recreational room renovation for this part along with the bathroom. And then we're looking at another two more parts for the bedrooms and the basement because yes, there is a basement if you guys had not noticed. Um, and I did not notice. <laughs> I really didn't notice. I thought we were just about done. And I was like, oh, okay, we're about to be completely finished with this little series. Cool. But um, as you can see here, I'm really just trying some different textures and tiles and ideas on the wall. I'll be completely honest, this part was probably the most difficult part or time that I have ever recorded for the renovation series <clears throat> just because. I really had no idea what I was going to do at all. No idea at all. So I decided in the end to try and just make it an updated, cooler version of what it was before because it was basically a little bar area. And I liked that idea because I really, oops, I'm so sorry guys, my phone went off. Um, I liked that idea because I really couldn't imagine a different purpose for this space because it's really not big enough for it to be a gaming room or a TV room. Um, it's not private enough to be an office or anything like that because it literally is right there by that back door and that's like the main access to the backyard. So it would be too much traffic, too high traffic. So I decided to just kind of keep the same general purpose. Um, and update it, make it look more modern, give it more of that industrial, contemporary style that I've given to the upstairs um, area of the house and really let it be more of a showcase of this family's style and aesthetic and instead of it being a, you know, particularly styled room. And I don't know if you guys noticed there just a second ago, but I did kind of do a jump scene thing where um, my video footage got a little bit messed up there for a second. So I missed maybe 30 seconds of recording time, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. I just added, you know, the chairs, the sculptural piece in the background, and that little refrigerator. I thought it was a good idea to have some kind of cooler of sorts down there, but not like a full-blown kitchen because that wouldn't really make sense. The only thing I did not add, which I sh probably should have added, was a sink. But I figured since the bathroom is right there, it's not too big, too big of a deal. It's not too big of a deal. Um, I really just wanted to keep the area, area as minimalistic as possible. I wind up moving some more things around just because I don't like where things are sitting or I don't like this or I don't like that. But I think my favorite thing about this area, yeah, I definitely moved that sculpture and replaced it with that um, shelving unit there because I thought that worked great right there behind the bar. Um, but my favorite thing about this whole area is probably that really awesome brick wall. I mean, I just, I don't, I know that this is time number two that I've put a brick wall in here in this um, house renovation series and made it kind of like the statement piece for the room. But truly it works. It looks amazing. It looks chic. It looks modern, but it still looks rustic. You know what I mean? And I really love the dark wood against this white brick. Some of you guys may not like it as much, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys will like it as well. At this point, I'm really just trying to find some more decorational items that I can add to the room um, because it it got a little... It's It can be very bare looking for sure. It can look very, very bare, which um, I think mainly is because of that stark white contrast. It can look a little too 
sterile, definitely too sterile. So I wanted to add some more colors in there and just really try and put as much artwork into this room as I could because again, like I said, I wanted it to be more of a um, showcasing room than a fully functional this or that. And I did decide to change some of the color schemes in the room a little bit. Um, but I thought they were just more functional overall and kept it nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. There should be a little bit of time left over for you guys to watch. Um, and then we'll have a little showcase of walk through there at the end. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please leave a like if you do and subscribe if you have not already. And, uh, leave me your comments and thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. Bye guys.